In this episode of Stream Robot Bytes, automated welcomes, automated shoutouts, and also custom shoutouts. Hello, and welcome to Stream Robot Bytes, where I cover how to set up and to make the most of the awesome Stream Robot. There is one video per topic to make it easy as possible to follow and find. When relevant, sample import code will be provided to make it even easier to get started and to add functionality to your stream. Let's get started with the topic for this video. So we're going to go through setting up the welcome automation, the automatic shoutouts, custom shoutouts as well. We're going to go through the steps of setting these up, importing the actions, linking the commands, let me demonstrate them how they work. And finally, we're going to go through and explain them. So you can look at how you can customize these further to better fit your channel. The import string for the actions is going to be in the description below or linked in the description below. We can right click on the actions area, select import and paste in the import string. This is going to automate adding all four actions required for all the functionality today. Once we've imported these, we need to associate two commands, one to do a shout out, one to set the custom shout out string, and then we need to set up the automated welcome. To set up the custom shout out command, go to the commands tab and add. We're gonna use exclamation mark SO, which is the most popular use of shoutout for moderators. We're going to tell it to use the custom shoutout command, limit it to moderators. I'm going to leave the cooldowns by default, but if you want to limit the number of times that a user can do a shoutout command in succession, or anyone can do it, then you can use the cooldown options here. We can add another command in, this time set SO. This is to set the custom shout out message. So we're going to, to link it to that action again to moderators. Finally, the last thing to set up is in the first words, which is under settings, events, and general. This action is triggered the first time someone comes into the chat and sends a message. So it doesn't trigger for lurkers. We're setting that to welcome. It's worth noting that there is a reset button here. So if you're testing with yourself or with a bot, you can click on reset. Now let's have a look at see how this behaves when we put it into action. Now if we go into the channel chat and send a message, we'll see the bot picks up that I've not spoken before. It sends a message. It also picks up that I'm a streamer and it then displays a little shout out with a link to the channel and the last game I've played. If you want to set up a custom shout out, we use the set so command that you set up. Type in that command, then the name, and then the message after that. It's then going to confirm that we've got the custom shout out message. And then finally, we can test it by doing a manual shout out. And we can see in here that it's picked up that custom message and gone from there. To be absolutely sure that everything's all working, we can reset the first words, go back, send another message, and we get the automated welcome and that customized shout out. Let's have a look at the four actions behind the shoutouts and welcome code. We're going to start off with the failed shoutout. This is very simple, saying back to the user which run the command, saying that the raw input, so typically the, the shoutout uh, target, isn't a streamer or doesn't exist. So it picks up if they have played a game or not. So that's just used by other actions to refer to giving us a warning. The set custom shoutout, 
we'll pick it out the target information from the user. So that's add action, then Twitch, and get info for target. This is from the input, so what we type in. That will define a target user. So if it doesn't come back with anything, it's the failed shout out and it stops. Otherwise it executes codes. It's a C sharp code, so a little bit more complicated. It splits the input so it knows to differentiate the user to set the custom shout out with and the shout out itself. It basically then sets in this command a value called past input. And that's where the custom shout out is basically pulled from using the C sharp code. It then tries to pull out, oh sorry, it, it sets the custom shout out we've just pulled in here into, so the past input to be pulled out from the C sharp code into this custom SO variable. And finally, it confirms the message there. So this is how we're setting it. It's setting it as a user variable. So in the custom shout out code itself, we pull the target information from the input again. Again, if it checks for the target user or game. So if it's target user is not being pulled out, it's not a valid user account. If the game isn't there, they're not a streamer. Pulls out the custom shout out code and in the message does a custom shout out text and then a regular shout out message at the end. So if there's nothing in the custom shout out, it's going to then just send a regular shout out for that user account. Finally, the welcome. Typically, in this, you'd want to have your broadcaster account here and set to break. I've let it continue so we could demonstrate the bot. So I'm going to change that back here at this point. Already have a bot account as well. So if you want to have users or bots that you don't want to trigger a welcome message for, this is how you do it. This message to send welcome to the user is the welcome message we've seen. This could do a whole raft of actions. So whatever you can do in streaming bots, you can trigger from here. So as we do more advanced demonstrations in the streamer bot bytes, you might want to look at what you can change and upgrade here. Finally, we add the target information from who's redeemed. Because it's a welcome message, that's redeemed by the actual viewer that's just come into the chat. Again, we're checking if they're a valid streamer, pulling out the custom shout out if it's there, and sending out the custom shout out message. So there's a couple of different places you need to change the custom shout out message if you want to have the format of it, but it's in here and in the custom shout out. Please like and subscribe to be notified of more videos like this. If there's a topic you'd like covered, please do let me know in the comments or also on Discord. Check my Twitch stream to see the bot in action and for other examples. So the links to my Twitch, social media and to streamer bot can be found at vrflad.com. Additional links to others that provide streamer bot content can be found in the description too. Finally, thank you so much to Nate for making a great bot. Please do consider supporting his Patreon, which is linked from streamer.bot.